Hi everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our daily angelic message for March 21st, 2024. Okay, so we have Magical Map Shifter. This is 52. I feel like, again, I, I, as I've been saying for years now, my audience, even though I still have over, I think over 95,000 subscribers, never made it, I made it to the 100,000 mark, but then like it went down and so I never got my like YouTube, good on you, 100,000 <laughs> subscriber plaque. But you know what? That's okay because even if no views are on these on these videos, the people who need to see it are seeing it. And here you go. This is for you, baby. Okay, this isn't for the toxic ones out there who are the ones who, maybe this is a compliment. You know, maybe maybe there's such a frequency here that they can't come in. I like that. I like that. Let's think of it that way. So this magical uh, map shifter, which is really hard to say, is you, I feel like this is a message of you are changing direction. Make sure you're going back and watching the dailies, watching the weekly, because honey, if you're one of those people that constantly gets taken advantage of, baby, this is your message. This is, this is for you. This is the healing call for you, all right? You don't need to take it anymore. And hopefully, if there are some people who um, can be salvaged at this point, like maybe you've been going down a very toxic road and you, you become self-aware, maybe you heal that. Okay, maybe that's for you too. Great. But this is changing direction here. And for some of you, this is changing direction pretty quickly. Now we do have eclipses coming up. We have retrograde, you know, retrograde coming up. Um, all these things are going down, but I, I'm feeling from, yeah, I'm feeling like the, the path here is to uh, kind of stay in your center. And I know what that sounds like. We always throw that around like, hey, if you're having a bad day, just stay in your center. It's going to be great. <laughs> like, it's not that easy, right? Um, but this is, I, I've been saying this for the past, I think, couple of days, Make sure you're enjoying whatever you have to do, even if it's for the satisfaction of, look at me taking care of business. Look at me getting this done. Look at me not caring what anybody's got to say. Look at me reclaiming myself. When I see map, map shifter, um, that feels like I'm creating my own path. I am going in the direction that feels good for me. Now, if you're somebody who's listening to this and you're saying, well, that means I can, I've been wanting to move. Some of you take these so like surface level and so literally, I mean, you could get something out of that, but be careful with that. These are like soul level messages here. This is like a grander, broader energy we're talking about. And if you miss it, Lord, okay. Like part of this makes me think of, um, and I'm going to say it, some catastrophic event, okay, that could break away land. And it could be here in the United States where I'm at. It could um, flood rivers. It could do all of those things. And this is intensifying. Okay, this is intensifying. But anyway, more on the map shifter part of it. It's you saying, not like not taking it literally and saying, oh, that means I'm going to move and I should move. Um, please take a beat. <coughs> Pardon me. Please take a beat and, and feel it out before you just make some uh, quick decision. So something's changing quickly, but again, still give it some time, some thought. I know those are kind of conflicting messages, but something is changing here. More than anything, I think for any of you tuning in today, it is a complete shift in direction. And I'm going to say once more, if you think, oh, I know exactly what that is. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think it's something coming out of nowhere. A turnover. For some of you, you feel like you just got dumped out, right? So this could be a reversal on something. Um, it, but it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like it's horrible. It feels like, well, I wasn't that excited about this anyway. Oh, here's something that's like, oh, I get to do something a little bit more, right? So if you, let's say you're in your job. Let's use job and everyone can relate to that, I think. Or a lot of people can relate to that. You do your job, you're doing a job, you're doing a job. And, you know, it's not like the most exciting thing or whatever. And then all of a sudden someone's like, hey, we see a lot of potential in you. We're going to take you this direction. Are you in? And you say yes, maybe. Or um, some of you are going to be scared and you're going to hold back. And that's okay. Right? You are where you are. 
get ready for some surprises. And more than anything, I I want to say it's not bad, but it also has this kind of heaviness around it too. Where really only the strongest are going to get through this without having a meltdown. Okay, and the ones who deserved it, the most to have a meltdown won't be the ones having a meltdown. Actually, they're going to be looking at the people who are having a meltdown going, really? I, I, I saw this thing. This girl was crying and saying, you know, F you to all you astrologers out there. You said 2024 was going to be my year. Now, I have no idea. There was no context. I have no idea what the heck happened to this person. But, ooh, problematic on so many levels. Number one, not taking any accountability for their life. Now, God forbid if something happened that was beyond their control, okay, I understand that. But just that reaction alone, wanting to blame someone else, someone they've never met, which shows some cowardice, right? Like you're blaming this sort of faceless community, right? <laughs> like not one person, um, not taking accountability for yourself and also giving all your power away to something like astrology, any good ethical astrologer is going to tell you, hey, this is not telling you how your life is destined to go necessarily. It's showing you the blueprint. It's showing you the map, right? It's showing you what energies you are contending with and what your soul is trying to accomplish while it's here. Angelic messaging. Angelic messaging is helping you grow through those lessons. So as you navigate through your blueprint, they're giving you the coaching and saying, okay, you know, we know that this is a lesson, like you're trying to learn a lesson around love partnerships here. Help, let us help you. Let us help you realize that you don't deserve to be treated like that. Let us help you what has closed off your heart so that you can open up and have a healthy relationship. That's what the angelic part of it does, right? So you can't just kind of replace one with the other just as a side note. You feel me? So when someone is sitting there having a complete, and recording it, oh God, let's not freak it, y'all. It's that time. I, you know what? The Scorpio in me, she can't, she got to be unleashed now because I've had it. Why are you going to turn on the dang camera when you're having tears? <sighs> let, let me explain this. If you want to record something, a response that you've had, because you going through that, if you talk about it and you're emotional, but you talk about it and you get it out there because it could help someone else. It could help keep someone else from being taken advantage of or, um, you know, just expressing, here's what I'm going through as a human, you know, maybe you can relate. It, there's, n there was no attempt at like a connection here. It was pure. Again, I hope it wasn't anything because I don't have context. So hopefully it wasn't like a loss, like a major, oh God forbid. But I, well, let's, I'm presuming, purely presuming, maybe I'm a bad person. And if I am, I will apologize. Maybe it was a breakup. I don't know. Maybe. Let's say it was. I don't know that it was. In this one example. A breakup. Ask people who got married, who <laughs> chose that path for themselves. How's it going? How's it going? Most of them are divorced and out there on the hunt for their next partner and with people who have remained single and skipped over their first marriage because they wanted something non-toxic. And now we've got that, that competition out here as well. So if, if this was a thing in this example where this person was sitting in the car, turning on the camera so everyone can, everyone can watch them be angry and, and watch them blame someone else and take no accountability for what? I don't know, attention, sympathy. It made me twisted okay it got me twisted I was like oh my god and maybe even I'm a little heartless I'm not heartless I'm the exact opposite of that but I've seen people who have real problems I've had major 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 things that most people don't survive I'm very lucky to be here not just once twice or three times but many times okay so if somebody just broke up with you that's an ego response right there that's a tantrum what is the way we get conditioned? So watch out for the fake nice people who will come out and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're saying that. Like you're diminishing someone else's pain. Be careful of those people. Be careful of those people. Okay. I call them the church nice people. I used to, I, I got that from when I lived in New York. There are these people who would smile in your face. And then they would go off and do like the worst stuff, like bad, okay? Like really bad stuff and then come back on church and light a candle for the good baby Jesus and like think that they're cleansed and that's it. 
and they can go back to doing whatever horrible thing they want. Be careful of the people who are social narcissists, right? Uh, who, or just narcissists in general, who they, they come out thinking they're saying the right thing, but they've completely missed the point, right? So my point in this example is somebody who is, again, I don't have the full context, but just the way she was reacting. I, I think I maybe can kind of piece it together. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. But from what I see at this point in time, somebody being very self-indulgent, um, having a tantrum, wanting attention, wanting to blame others. And I don't know, just having this like emotionally dumping on social media. The snake will come in and say what I just said. How could you say that about this person? Right? Because they see the opportunity to quote unquote look good on the surface and look like they have a bigger heart. But I think we're getting smarter now. I think we, we are able to pinpoint those people a little bit better. Okay. So just be careful. You're going in a new direction. But these are part of the things that we have to get in the weeds about. Because if we don't get in the weeds about this, we just glaze over it. And then you have that toxic person who's like, I know you mean well. But what you need to understand is that, that this is why your opinion and your viewpoint is wrong. Narcissist, okay? I don't care. Psychological people, psychological people, psychological community people, all love and respect to your careers. I don't have the degree that you do. I didn't go through all the stuff that you did to become a therapist or whatever. But some of you all don't know what you're talking about either. I said it, okay? I said it. But for those of you out there, you understand what I'm getting at here. Hopefully you have better terms to put around it. But hopefully you see what I'm getting at here as best as I can without having clinical terms. Anyway, let's just leave it there. <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care.